DDG, man. I'm a dad now. DDG, he did it, y'all. He put it in there before I did. Damn! I did not know Hallie ass was pregnant. That shit just pissed. Oh, that some um some food. Nah, man. Hey, shout, I out to him, man. shout out to DDG, though, man. I'm on mine. They hit that shit so good, dude. What the freak? What's good, YouTube, man? Welcome back to a crazy video. Crazy, 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 man. Uh, I never thought I'd be making this kind of video. But I always Damn, wanted to make this kind of so video. Good. From the title, what? you can know what this is about. Ah. From the internet, you know what this is about. From the back seat, you know what this is about. That's the Duna, by the way. That's top of the line. It, it turned from a, um, it turned from a, uh, car seat to a stroller and shit. But, I'm a dad. I'm a dad, y'all. Uh, I have a son. I have a baby boy. He's a newborn. Uh, he was actually born last year, but we was just waiting on the right time to, Jack, look like a towel you know, basically break the, the news or whatever. It's been a lot of speculation. You know, a lot of y'all should quit y'all jobs, bro. A lot of y'all should quit y'all jobs and start looking into detective work because y'all do pretty good at it. You know, Ooh, it's been a lot of Ooh, weird shit. stuff happening paparazzi and shit like weird shit like you know they follow you home like all types of stuff so it's just it's crazy nah, 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 look, look, look. paparazzi bro paparazzi bro paparazzi bro hey it couldn't be me bro like nah seriously bro you gonna follow me home bro or you gonna post up outside of my shit bro see 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 i ain't kanye i'm gonna splack off on one of y'all there yeah all right crazy you know i'm just i'm just a little old me man it's they ain't looking at me, but shit, you know, that shit was weird. But we here, and it's a blessing, and I love him so much. I don't even, I barely know him. <laughs> he barely know me. We barely know each other, but, like, I just love him so much, and it's just a different type of feeling. And I always, like, used to hear people say, because I ask people all the time, like, bro, how is it having a kid? Even, like, when I found out that I was having a kid, I used to always ask people, like, just to see how it is and prepare myself and be like, man, how is it having a kid? And they just be like, man, it's unconditional love. Like, I would, like, literally choke your granny out over my kid. Right now. <laughs> I only been knowing, I've been knowing him less than a month. Like, I don't even know him like hey, that. Nah, but I would literally choke your granny out over him. I would hurt your granny. I don't care if she 86 on anything. She touched my kid. I'm choking her, bro. Off rip. Like, that's how, that's how how bad I feel about my son. Like, it's just like, it's just a different type of feeling. And he's very handsome. Not to shade no other babies, cause I'm mature now, y'all. Ever since I had him, I've been hit with a newfound maturity that I don't know what it is, but I just feel grown. I'm 26 now, I really feel 26. Don't stop hitting that gas, you feel me? I used to feel like I was still like 20. Don't stop hitting that gas though. Three, but after he came out, I feel like I was my age. But like, I don't know, I think he's, he's like above average of handsomeness. Like he, he looks very good. I wasn't even expecting it as a dad. I'm like, you know, I didn't see Woo Woo was not like that when oh, he first shit. came out. Damn, damn, damn. That's fucked up. I thought about uncle. But my son, I ain't gonna lie, no shade to Woo but he, he just so handsome, man. He looks good. He looked like if you just nah, took a picture nah. of him, you put him on he the front of a slide. Huggies box immediately. It's just like he's just picture ready already, and I was just so happy. And I'm like, man, this, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna live a good life. He gonna live a great life. He gonna have a great time growing up. He gonna have all the girls, all the motion, everything. I'm just super excited. You know, and it hasn't been hard. I don't really have any questions or nothing. Just kind of just wanted to make the video off the fly. Just let y'all know how I feel. It's a great experience. I already feel like a professional already. Like, even last night, he peed on me. My son peed on me three times already. Like, he just pee on me. I think it's because you put the diaper on, not to put his business out there. When you put his diaper on, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put his little wee wee down or whatever. But he peed on me three times already. And I don't even be mad. 
Like, it'd be cool. I'm like, it's all good. You know? Changing diapers. Like, that was probably the most thing that I was scared of. Changing diapers, bro. He, he be doodling a lot. And I change his diaper and it's fun. Like, it's like a video game at this point. No, how the fuck and did I they hide that shit, though, like that, bro? I'm sorry. How the fuck they hide he this pregnancy like this, though? I used to be watching oh Halle Snapchat all the time. She was so fine and shit. I ain't never seen no no type of sign, no nothing. I, I genuinely, that's how you know you just love somebody. You know how you with your girl or whatever, and like you can look at your girl doo-doo, and it's it's cool. Like you can watch your girl doo-doo, and it ain't nasty. It, but though. if you go on, like, on a crazy, first date nah. with a girl you don't really what like mean, like that, you look at her, I'm she she bobo, you like, Shh, I don't know if I want to mess with her no more. It's like that type. Like I don't care if he doo-doo, throw up, like he threw up on me, peed on me, doodled on me already. You know, and it's just like, I love you, son. You know, it's cool, man. I ain't really tripping, you know. I feel you. It is what it is. But I don't know, man. It's just being a new dad. It's just, it's been a great experience. It's been very, very fun. Another thing, I seen him come out. I watched the whole thing. I was honestly scared because, you know, I, I was like, man, I don't really want to see this. You feel me? But I'm like, damn, at the same time, bro, like, I don't plan on having a, a million kids. You feel me? Like. Maybe down the line, or, you know, maybe one or two more, but like, I'm probably not gonna see this again. So I went down there and I looked. It was the craziest shit I ever seen in my life, bro. I'm, listen, I give women, I have a newfound respect for women. Like, as as a dude, bro, we really got it easy, bro. I couldn't imagine pushing the baby out of my PO, bro. Like, after seeing that, bro, I'm like, oh man, this is crazy. This is wild, bro. How we are born is amazing. Like, it's so crazy. It's so crazy, bro. I encourage anybody to experience this. Like, honestly, what you living for? I feel like this is what we put on this earth for to recreate and, and love. I feel like I found Thanks. a whole new purpose in life. I feel like a dick. Can't stand hold of you. I don't want no kids. I kids, uh-uh, uh-uh. Bitch, what the fuck you here for? Keep them sorry hoes. They just be sorry as shit. You got nothing to work for. Different type of motivation right now. Like, my motivation is, like, through the roof. I'm like, man, I don't never want my kid to ever want for nothing. I don't never want him to even think about asking for anything. He already got it. Facts, you feel bro. me? Like, Facts. I don't want him. I want him to get lost in the house. My house big now, but I want a 10 times bigger house so he can have a whole little side of the house to itself when his homies. You feel me? Like, I just got a newfound motivation, and, and, and my purpose is to make his life as best as possible. And that nigga DDG finna start trading around this bit. It's fun as possible and just stress free. Like, y'all know this about me, man. I didn't grow up in good conditions. Like, I didn't grow up in the richest conditions granted you know my mama did her thing and my dad did his thing and you know we i had shit but i ain't have it like this you feel me and i'm trying to get him like that you feel me so it's like i don't know like my my whole purpose my main goal my main priority in life right now is to make sure his childhood is the best childhood in the world like i want him to be the happiest kid in the world like Wuop, for instance, Wuop is the happiest kid in the world. He gets anything he wants, whenever he wants. He's smart. He's a genius. He's he's funny. He's got a great personality. He's well parented. I look up to my brother in that sense. I look at him with Wuop, and I'm like, damn, I want that for me and my kid. I want me and him to have like a. It's my son, but I want me and him to have like a friendship, a brother to brother relationship and not just hey go do your go to your room do your chores i want him to come to me and be like hey daddy i just you know what i'm saying i was with this girl over here man what you think about her? she cool you know what i'm saying like shit like that like i want me and him to have like a one of these type of friendships and i, I can already feel it i know he a newborn but i can already feel me and his connection is just like you know we like there already. He already know what's up. He like, oh, okay, cool. He came out. He seen me. He like, oh, I got a cool daddy. Oh, okay, babe. For sure. This shit finna be cool then. See, he seen me. He already knew I'm, I'm gonna get him right. But it's a blessing, man. It's 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 amazing. And I don't know. I, I don't plan on showing his face or, you know, she don't plan on showing his face. It's just too priceless. He's great looking. Like, Think of a handsome kid, handsome child, newborn, by the way. No features ain't even fully developed. Just think about it. Think about the most handsomest kid in the world 
blend me and her looks together, but thinking him as being the best features of us possible. That's what he looked like. He's a beautiful baby and healthy baby. You know, thank the Lord Jesus Christ. That's all. You know, that's all that really matters. That he healthy and he able to live a great life and stress free. So yeah, y'all. I'm a dad. I don't really want to talk your head off too crazy on this video. I just kind of wanted to give y'all a little quick little life update and let y'all know what's going on, man. I'm gonna continue to vlog, continue to post Snapchats and shit. I really be on Snapchat most of the time, but I do want to get back into my daily routine on vlogging since you know i ain't really gotta you know y'all know now so now y'all can get off my meat you know I ain't about oh ddg it's a bassinet in the back oh ddg oh you see uh, so what so what so mad because your meat don't work go have your own kid man quit worry about what i got going on but i ain't gotta worry about all that detective work no more so now i can just live my life so i'm able to vlog more and able to just you know do whatever y'all already know what it is me and Hallie had a baby together. I wouldn't have chose no other person in the world to have a child with. We learning. She's a great mom. Like it's crazy. She's she's amazing. Like it's it's like I don't know what it is, bro. It's like before the baby come out, I'm gonna quit yapping in a minute. But before the baby come out, you a little scared. You a little nervous. You like this shit might be crazy but then once he come out and then you you, you end up because you're in a hospital for like two days when you're in a hospital it's like okay you got nurses coming in changing this diaper for you flipping them swallowing them up everything doing everything that you need to do and then you take them home and it's like damn he really here but something just kick in you just know what to do it's crazy like i ain't scared to hold him no more like i grab him like this boom swaddle him up like i'm just professional dad she's a professional I grab him like this he threw the damn baby up the fuck DDG. no mom and we're doing great and you know we got money we thought about getting a night nurse they ain't get one don't even need one the only thing is right, nurse i ain't never heard some shit like that. Like Check. the only thing is he does wake up like it's you on his schedule or you on your baby's schedule? All the parents that's watching this, y'all know this. You on their schedule. Like, if he say, hey, last night he was like, hey, nigga, get up. I need a bottle. I need a bottle, bro. Go go make that bitch. And if you don't, he get to yelling, I need a bottle. And he get to crying and crying and crying. And you got to go downstairs, hurry up and make the bottle. Bring it back upstairs. Feed him. Burp him. Once you burp, like, it's crazy because, like, the little things matter so much. Like, burping a baby is like... Facts, chat. Facts. A success. Like when you hear him burp, you like, yes, he burped. Or you hear him shit, you like, yes, he shit it. But it's just like, I don't know. I'm just excited, y'all. I'm just happy. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I'm just yapping. I'm gonna stop though. But I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all being on this journey with me. Um, and I'm just, I'm excited to just see what this new chapter takes me and my son and Hallie, and we just, you know figure out where, where, where we go from here and just continue to inspire and motivate and just have a great time but yes y'all i am a dad it is real i know i've been trolling for like a week or so but i needed diapers i was trolling man i gotta get wipes i gotta buy shit i got i got a son so i was trolling to get y'all to you know get them clicks and shit but we good now, y'all. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all so too, much. Love you too, bro. And uh, I see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all follow me on Snapchat. Also, I dropped a freestyle on my um on my music channel. I'm finna start dropping a lot more music. I feel like I me yap for a little bit longer. You ain't got nothing else to do. But I feel like 2023 was my biggest setback musically, and um I feel like I really struggled to figure out which route i wanted to go and it caused me not to drop as much and it caused me to lose my excitement that i once had and like you know around like 2021 you know 2022 yeah, 2020 like that little three-year era you know the covid bullshit. post covid i was just dropping like a lot and i was just on my own schedule and i feel like i'm getting back to that now so i'm gonna be dropping a lot more um go subscribe to the channel ddg it's almost at three million i've been stuck at 2.94 million for the longest but hopefully next year january it'll be a different narrative different story 2023 was my worst setback 
for my music career, but it was my best for my life. It was the best for my life. So um, I'm excited, you know. Nothing but motivation. You ain't lose if you give up. I Man. love y'all. Once you again. You only will lose if you give up, chat. I repeat, you only will lose if you give up, bro. Never give up, bro. I'm so fucking serious, bro. Bro, all right, bro. Don't piss me off. You feel me? And I see you on the next video. Follow me on Snapchat if you want more updates. You want to see me some more. I know you miss me. And I uh, see y'all uh, on the internet somewhere, someplace. Trying to get straight to the point and they crooked They gave me the lane to the top and I took it I'm going to the top